Hello and welcome. Zevlin here. Let's play a little bit more of our Dive Yet campaign. Uh, world looks pretty same-ish, normal-ish. A um, couple years into the war here. Oirat's getting beaten up by peasants. I'm wondering if they just didn't have like a peasants war or something. Can't see. I'm not neighboring them or anything. Oh well, guess it doesn't really matter. I would like a strong ally versus Ming, uh, but... I don't know. That's probably not going to be an issue right now. I probably do need to just top off relations with them. I do have a royal marriage. They're probably going to be asking for my trade power at some point if I don't have trade power of my own being transferred to me. Let's see, where's somewhere that I can buddy up to to transfer trade power to me? Because if I have trade power transferred to me. They can't ask for trade power. Lunan? Maybe keep them peaceful until I can possibly vassalize them? I mean, their base tax is ridiculous, but I mean, I do need some allies. And they wouldn't be a bad one. They do love me. Let's look at the provinces. Who owes any claims or anything? This one has some claims. Ayutha wants them. Um, they want them. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and suck up to them. Maybe get them to transfer trade power to me at some point. Right now, my diplomats are busy. One's annexing Champa. And the other one is fabricating a claim down here for a mission. So I can't disturb them. Slowly rebuilding my money. I still owe a lot of loans. That was a very, very expensive war. But I did get a good vassal and four territories, chipping Lecheng down to Lan Cheng down to um, small enough that I can vassalize in the next war. So that's a good thing. What kind of aggressive expansion do I have? around here 23 with you 32 with you holy crap yeah I'm fighting some aggressive expansion see I am making some money now I'm gonna reduce inflation make a little bit more money makes things a little bit less expensive my mercenaries are very very expensive but that's okay How many mercenaries do I have? Three? Four? Okay, yep, yeah, never mind. I only want two. So I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to delete them. Lower my costs a little bit. And I'll slowly replace them. Um, repay loan for sure. How am I doing on that? Let's see. Repay loans. I only have three loans left. I have 14, 14, and 16. Uh, spy offensive or prestige? I'll take the prestige. I will continue to... Oh, something's done. I can embargo you. Get a little bit more power projection. Just like a tiny, tiny bit. It's like one. But it's worth doing. And then when they get back... Let's see, didn't I... What was my mission? Did I not complete my mission? Oh yeah, manpower. Okay. Let's focus on improving relations here with Lana. This is going to literally take forever until my overextension goes down and my... Well, even at then, it's only going to double. I guess doubling is good, but... What I really need is a Diplo rep guy. Like this one. And that'll add to a month. Then as soon as my over extension goes down, it'll go up one more a month. And this will actually go pretty fast. And considering I'm going to have an idea pretty soon, um, I do need some more Diplo points. I'm pretty far behind. I do need this Diplo tech.
All right, I gained some cores. A new culture is accepted. Okay, Lucian. And well, this tech will be done eventually. I will need some transports to even think about colonizing. All right, how am I doing on loans? One more loan. Fifteen point six ducats. Hmm. Just gonna repay it. And I'm going to start making a transport fleet. I can only really build one and be under the force limit right now. But that's fine. And I am going to also build another infantry. Just to try and deter people from wanting to come attack me. Lanon is your ally. Well, that puts a damper in things. I should go to war. I should keep these uh, these guys on their heels. Not a lot of point in me improving relations with Lanon if I'm going to just be going to war with them. And who are your allies? Ah, you have a lot of allies. Oh well. I was gonna say... I could... What's your full annexation cost? 42? I actually pr could probably call you in as a non-co-belligerent and still vassalize you. Kind of defeats my purpose of being able to get trade power transferred from you. But I think I could probably get this guy. Let's start improving relations with you instead. You're in. They tell us of internal conflicts. Okay, that's fine. Uh, no, no, no. Wrong buttons. You, mothball. Definitely need more of you. I'm gonna need at least five. Yeah. I'd like to land at least five guys on this on this place. Yeah, well, a lot of these have a lot of dudes. This one has three, but they're very, very aggressive. So I could get away with like four, or three or four on this one. These ones aren't so bad. If if I can reach this one, I'm going to do this one. Uh, it's because it's not tropical, I'll actually be able to make progress. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach it at first. I might have to get something else before that. All right, I'm going to build another cavalry. Actually going to take the leader off this army. It's bad practice to leave military leaders on armies that aren't being used. Um, yep, spare no expense, of course. I am going to take this tech. because that will actually allow me to have colonial range on things, including the thing I really want up here. So I will be take, uh, colonizing this first, but it has six dudes, so I'm gonna need like at least five boats. We'll see what happens when I integrate here. I may have some more force limit, I'm not sure. Let's see, tech. Yeah, I need this tech. Right here. This one. Because I need some temples. 
Oh no, there goes my military leader. And integration of Ch Champa. All right. Okay, well, let's see what that did for our force limits and things. Um, that actually put me over the force limit. So... I'm just going to split off one of you. Delete this one. Move you up here. Oops, I deleted the wrong one. I could have kept two. Oh well, one more horse won't hurt. I'd rather have another cavalry. So let's just go ahead and build another cavalry right now, just so that we're at the force limit. And also navy force limit. Well, I have another transport at least. Let's move you here. We have one person transferring trade. In Siam. I don't need you to be in Siam. I need you to be with this dude. Alright, get over here. There we go. All together now. Alright, I also need to start converting things. Because my religious unity sucks. I have one dude, so let's click there. I have a little bit of unrest there now, so I'm going to go hang out. Here. Supply limit. I have just enough supply limit for 11 guys, so that's perfect. I'll just have to leave my horse out of the army for now. And... I waited a little too long to go to war. And they built frickin' troops too. No, I'm gonna be over the force limit. Alright, well I'm gonna probably take this call. So I'm gonna need to raise this. They are at war with Kimmer and Lanan, so... Okay. Let's... Yes, I want you to return home. I want to start fabricating another claim here. On Preknor, I want the I want their coastal province. So I'm gonna click that. That'll give me one more thing to take later. I am going to accept this, but I'm gonna wait one month. Now I'm gonna accept. Okay, I'm going to unmothball you. Merge the two of you together. Remothball. Move my horses in place over here. Yep, and I lost that mission. That's fine. Rival of rival. Orissa. No. Claim Kraty. Yes, I would like to, but it's going to be a while before I can do that. Actually, not that long. Looks like we've pretty much... Pretty much won this already. Um, religious unity is going to take quite a while. Let's go ahead and click this. And I don't actually need my maintenance up all the way if there's no more troops. So I'm going to lower it a little bit. I move in here. Move down here is fine. Move over here. And start splitting these up so that I can siege. Well, move down here and squish that army first. Now, I don't like that I'm not the war leader. I really should have done this war first. But this will be fine. As long as I siege the things I have claims on. So I have a claim on that, and I'm working on a claim for this. So I just need to make sure that I siege these things. Oh, dang it. 
should re really raise my maintenance before going around to stomp like every single freaking army they put up. But that was a nice little boost to prestige, so that's all right. And it didn't kill that many men. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Come on. Come help. Thank you. And I still maintain the siege, but they're helping me do it. Alright, there's the first one. Let's go ahead and move you guys down here. And we had a bit of a crash there. Nothing lost, just a couple of days. Uh, it's July 1st now. I think it crashed around July 20th. Not a big deal. This newest patch, uh, 8 point, or 1.8.1, doesn't seem to be quite as stable as they think it is. At least not from what I was running perfectly on 1.8, except for the trade map mode. Perfectly fine. And then 1.8.1 came out just before I started this playthrough. And so far I've been having some trouble today. Um, definitely some lagginess and some... Just... I don't know. Not too great. But hopefully they'll hot fix it or there's something that, that can be fixed. Again, it's nothing I haven't been able to work around, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, lots of stuff just happened. Okay, sale of titles. Let's start right at the top. Gain money or stability. Well, I, uh, my stability is all the way up. I'm going to gain money. Um, let's see. Kimur accepted peace, so he pieced him out before I could finish sieging this, which is unfortunate, but I did gain one province. That's good. Which means now my diplomat's free so that I can... improve... well, no, 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 where is it, where is it? Alright, fabricate claim on Kriti for my mission. Let's go ahead and stick guys uh, here where there's some revolt risk not that big of a deal it's gonna be done converting before I ever need to worry about it but may as well be safe I am do have attrition supply limit of 11 eh, whatever I don't need that much let's stick some guys here because I am gonna have some uh, revolt risk here they are Kimmer Patriots so they are kind of by themselves, so I'm not too worried about them, since I did just take the one province. I'm going to go ahead and pay for this and get that cord. And that gave me a little bit of power projection, which is nice. All right, and here's what I was talking about with the um, lagginess. It's happening again. It happened right at the end of one of my last videos. Um, I basically just shut it down, restart everything. I, I'm i not sure what's causing this. Um, I kind of looked up. I don't think too many other people are having this issue, so it might be something on my end. I'm not sure. Shouldn't be. I mean, it was running perfectly fine yesterday. But it does just seem to be, after a little bit of recording time, it just doesn't want to play nice. I'm going to just let a couple of minutes sneak by. I just need to let some time go by, actually, and just... Um, let's see, who was I working on? You? Suppose I could...
They would offer an alliance. I don't want a royal marriage. I don't like them, however. Because they're allied to rival. So they'd have to increase opinion with me. What about here? I'm not allied or guaranteeing. So I do need that alliance. Maybe I could guarantee them. No, well, they're allied with my enemy. Yeah, that's not going to work out well. So I'm going to forget about that. If Nalon loses some territory, they may be willing to uh, vassalize. I'm going to see what happens with this war. See if they lose anything. If they lose something, I might be able to vassalize them. And anyway, I'm going to go ahead and take a break here. See if I can clear up this lagginess. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.